हेलो गाइस दिस योर बॉय अली सलांकी एंड टुडे वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ आई इन्वेस्ट इन द स्टॉक मार्केट एंड हाउ यू कैन डू बाय ओपनिंग एन अकाउंट फॉर योरसेल्फ नाउ आई वाज थिंकिंग ऑफ शोइंग माय एंटायर इन्वेस्टमेंट पोर्टफोलियो व्हिच विल इंक्लूड माय क्रिप्टो इन्वेस्टमेंट्स एज वेल सो इफ यू वांट मी टू मेक अ वीडियो अबाउट इट देन डू कमेंट इट डाउन बिलो एंड आई विल मेक अ वीडियो फॉर इट एज वेल सो फॉर दोस ऑफ यू हु आर जस्ट हियर फॉर द नेम ऑफ द ऐप दैट आई यूज फॉर माय इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इट is the grow app now i was a heavy upstocks user but recently i've shifted all of my investments over to grow and that's because i think it's the best stock market app in india currently now if you are an investor like me who loves to get into the financials of the company and dig deep into the track record before investing in it then you should really consider switching over to grow You will understand why I'm saying this in the later part of the video where I'll be showing you how to actually invest using the Grow app and how you can check all financial details of a company by yourself. But before we jump into it, let's first learn how to open an account with Grow. For opening a DMAT account, you would need 3 things. First is you would need to have a valid PAN card. Second, to make things easier, your Aadhar card should be linked with your phone number. And the third thing is having a bank account which is in your name and that will be used for all the transactions that would be happening. So for opening your account, you can either go over to Grow's website which is grow.in or you can register through their mobile app as well. All the links are down in the description box below as well as pinned in the comment section. And the most wonderful thing about it is that it is a sponsored link by Grow itself which means you will receive 100 rupees just for opening an account through that link. You will be prompted to sign up using an email address and fill up your phone number. Once this is complete and you've added the OTP as well, you will then be able to fill in your PAN card number. The PAN card number is a 10 digit number that you can find on your PAN card. itself now remember this pan card needs to be in your name you cannot use someone else's pan card just to register your dmat account after this you then have to add in your bank details and remember even this needs to be in your name now there are two last steps remaining the first is you then need to add your physical signature basically take out a white piece of paper sign on it and upload its picture as simple as that Once you do that you are now left with the last step of opening your account and that is e-signing the documents through your Aadhaar card. Now remember I told you that it would make things a lot easier if your Aadhaar card is linked to your mobile phone. Well, it helps in exactly this thing because if it isn't then you would have to courier the account opening form and it might take over 7 to 10 days before your account is even opened. However, if your Aadhaar card is linked with your phone number then you can directly just do the e-signature and your account will be opened in a matter of few minutes. For doing the e-signature you will be taken to NSDL's website where you can add your Aadhaar card number and you will get an OTP on the phone number that's linked to your Aadhaar card after which your e-sign will be completed and you would have successfully opened your own account Now that you've completed how to open your own account let's jump on how to buy stocks and add in your mutual funds So here first off you would have to add in some balance through your bank account after which you can then proceed to buy stocks and mutual funds of your choice. The best thing about this app is that it lets you look at the financials of the company before investing in it. You can literally just check the company's past financials, check its balance sheets, profit loss statements and much much more. And that's why it becomes extremely useful for investors like me. After that you can just click on buy and get your own mutual funds or stocks that you want and you can see them in the dashboard section of the app. So that's it for this video and if you like this video then do press the like button do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more such updates